This video is on preparing meat to be shelf stable. So as we've all read books, um, often fantasy books that don't really get into it at all, or old time traveling logs or westerns or whatever, you know, they've all got dry meat and it's shelf stable. And most of the time when you buy beef jerky, it is not shelf stable or it is, you know, got so much salts in it that it's a salted product more than a dried product. And this is on how to dry meat. It will say, do not, after you dry meat, store it in anything sealed. Don't put it in a Ziploc because in there lies botulism and you do not want that. That will kill you. So it's shelf stable. You store it where it is open air so it can't possibly get the little botulism germs growing in it. If it goes bad, it went bad but don't give yourself questions. So get it all the way dry. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Processed that hunk of beef back the first week of January. It is now the last week of February and I have quite a bit of it left because it was quite a bit of meat and I've been nibbling away on it, taking it to work with me as my my snack along with my cliff bars and what have you. So I like it a whole lot better than I like most store-bought beef jerky. Um, just did not put any spices in this at all. This is just straight up meat. Again, do not just put it in a Ziploc bag. It can have festering bacteria that you don't want that way. The most scary of which is botulism. But if you put it in the sack, got this one from the bakery. Um, manila envelope, wrap it in wax paper and tie it in a little knot whatever suits you. Um, but I'll just put it in the baker bag, hold the top, put a staple in it, and then throw it in the truck and have, have snacks available anytime I'm, you know, gone a little too far between meals. <laughs> 